Thanks for visiting. This is your reading for August the 13th to August the 19th. And if you like this reading, please like um, or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. Um, I'm trying to get around to all the comments and I do like to answer as many as I can. I do miss some, I know, but I try my best. I really do. I really appreciate every comment. Um, yes, I have everything ready. So I'll start your reading for lovely, lovely Leo people. The first card you have your past is um, Judgment. So yes, I'm seeing somebody, um, somebody's avoiding something or somebody was avoiding something. They're avoiding uh, someone's judgment. They were trying to run away. They were trying to hide. It was something like that. Somebody wanted to avoid something. Uh, they wanted to avoid someone's anger or they wanted to avoid someone's upset. They probably wanted to avoid you uh, because they felt that whatever they'd done, you might have been angry with them. I keep on seeing, um, I keep on seeing running away. Someone was running away, um, but you know, they're not going to be able to do this forever. They were doing this at this time, but um, they're going to be caught out sometime. Whatever this, um, they were doing, this is going to catch up to them because they have the judgment card. Um, it hasn't caught up to them yet, or it wasn't catching up to them at this time. Uh, this person I'm seeing, they were running, they were hiding, uh, or they were trying to do that. But you know, when judgment comes, it comes and it's final. It's going to catch up to them sooner or later if it hasn't already. Um, it could be that someone tried to take something for you, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything physical. I'm not seeing they took anything physically of yours. They might have, but that's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that, you know, they really took your trust. They really took your trust. I mean, you lost your trust in this person. I'm seeing, um, I'm actually seeing this is going to come to light eventually what they've done. They won't be able to get away with this forever, I'm seeing. It's almost like um, they're on the run. I'm seeing someone on the run running around with a helicopter above them with a spotlight and it's going to eventually shine on them. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have your past is the Emperor. So yes, it might have looked as if maybe this person was uh, getting away with things. But, you know, they're going to have to face up to things I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, you were handling this situation really well. Um, that's why I'm seeing what I'm seeing in this emperor. Because the emperor is very well organised. They're determined. They want to do things properly. They set things up for themselves. They set out tasks and they do them right to the end. They're very um, determined to do them. I'm seeing that... Um, Yes, you, you did really well in this situation. I mean, under the circumstances, they were terrible, but you actually were coming out of this very, very well. Um, you're organising a lot of things in your life, I'm seeing, that needed doing. You You knew that you needed this structure. If you didn't have this structure that you set up for yourself, you'd really be upset by this person. You were upset, but you knew that you needed to structure your life, get moving, do something for yourself, take your mind off things, start to get your life back in track. That's what I'm seeing. So this was deliberate. You were doing this deliberately. You're trying to make yourself busy. You're making yourself stronger. Your mind was actually very strong at this time. Now, it might have been that your feelings weren't feeling that strong, but your mind was very strong. Your feelings probably hadn't caught up at this time, but they will eventually. They will eventually. The last card you have for your past is the Seven of Wands. So yes, you were making this big effort to rise above this hurt, um, to rise above what this person had done. You're up on this mountain. Um, that's what I'm seeing um, with the Seven of Wands, up there really high up on this mountain. Um, this could be about an ex, actually. Um, I'm seeing uh, this could have been... Um, Yes, it could have been even more difficult for you because I'm seeing there probably were some people around this person who hurt you, around this person. They could have been relatives, could have been their parents or their, a friend or someone very close to them who were kind of taking sides. They were kind of, you know, this, these are these kind of people that are loyal to, you know, they'd probably be loyal if they're a criminal, if they're in jail or if they were doing whatever they were doing, they'd still be loyal to them, doesn't matter what they do. These people were by their side. I'm seeing that these people felt that they had to take sides between you and this person. And obviously they were taking their side, of course. So I'm seeing that you just didn't want to be involved in this drama. You just didn't care about sides. You didn't care whose side was on who. 
Uh, it could be that some people were trying to ask you questions. Oh, he said this about you. What do you say about him? Blah, blah, gossip, gossip. And you were kind of just, look, I don't want to answer that question. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you think about me. I just want peace. I just want you to leave me alone and stop your stupid gossip. I'm trying to get on with my life and you're trying to bring me back to this person and, and revisit all these memories and open this up all again. And I'm trying to move on from it. That's what I'm seeing you are thinking. So despite all of this drama, um, you're still doing quite well. You're still on top of all of these things, even though you know, you're still upset inside yourself. But again, your head was very strong and you're up above all these people. And um, yes, they had nothing better to do, really, these people. Usually this is what happened. And yes, you're rising above them. You're rising above them. That's what I keep on seeing. Uh, yes, these people are trying to battle this man, but he's up on a hill and he's strong. And that's how you were. The first card you have for your present is the five of wands. Yes, more wands, more battles. This is a big card of battles. These people are really trying to, maybe even still, maybe even now, trying to cause you problems. They could be talking behind your back, I'm seeing. They could be trying to bait you, trying to get you to say things. They're very childish. They're very kind of um, silly and childish. They're trying to kind of bother you or whatever, however they're doing it. Um, this card can be about silly, childish fights, bickering, that kind of thing. These people are the opposite to you. Look at this mess. This card is a mess. These people are so messy. They're crazy. They're kind of all over the place. But you're the emperor. Look at you. You're strong, powerful, organized. Um, these people might be stressing you on the inside or upsetting you on the inside. But on the outside, the difference between you is just enormous. It's like the difference between a diamond and a rock. It's just completely crazy or you know something that's organized the difference between a racehorse and some kind of crazy i don't know what something stupid um, a centipede or something really you, they're all over the place and you know what you're doing you're strong and you're in control of things um yes this is like a crazy playground fight if you look at this card so you know i wouldn't worry about it if i were you i know it does hurt your heart when people have a go at you and they always try to do it i have lots of trolls on here but really rise above them really they're crazy the next card you have your present is the page of wands more wands again so yes don't worry about these people what i'm seeing is look at the way this page is looking up to the top of this wand looking upwards these people actually secretly look up to you. They'd never ever admit it. They would never admit it that that's how they feel, but that is how they feel. Um, this person in the judgment card um, really benefited by having you around them. They were, you were probably the best thing that happened to this person, but they didn't appreciate it. So, you know, they're still running around, they're hiding. They have these gossiping childish people still around them doing their dirty work. I'm also seeing in this card that um, you're being busy socially at this time. You're actually not feeling as sociable as you'd like to be um, emotionally. You're not in it, but your head's telling you this is what you need to do. You need to get yourself out there. You need to talk to more people. You need to do more things. And so, yes, what you're doing is you're making an effort because you're still in this kind of emperor mode. You're organizing yourself. You're forcing yourself to do things. You're making yourself get out there. And I'm seeing that, you know, as you socialize more, even if you're not feeling like it in the beginning, as you do it more, as you spend more time around people, you're going to start to enjoy it more. And then, you know, the effort's going to pay off. That's what I'm seeing. You're going to really start to enjoy it. And then you'll feel like doing it more. And then you'll have more happiness while you're doing this. That's what I'm seeing. But you're really amazing. I mean, you're getting through this amazingly. The last card you have for your present is the Seven of Swords. Look at that. So yes, this person's still running away. Look at this person running with these swords. Running away, they're hiding, they know what they're doing. Um, and, you know, they know. They're not owning up to it, of course. Uh, they could be lying to these people who are gossiping, these people around them supporting them. They're probably saying to them nasty things about you. They're probably saying, oh, this person was terrible and I was wonderful. I did all these things for them. 
that's okay, they're probably lying so much they're probably starting to believe it themselves. But you know, I keep on seeing that eventually they're going to be forced to reveal what they've done. Uh, this is going to happen. I was seeing that in the judgment card. And you know, judgment is final. Once this comes out into the open, there's not going to be any running away for them. They're not going to be able to run. You can't hide. I mean, look at this judgment card. The angel has its trumpet. Everyone has to come out with their arms open and say, I'm an open book. Read me like an open book. I can't go backwards. I can't change my mind. I can't go back. This is what I've done. Judge what I've done. And that's what's going to happen to this person. They're not going to be able to run anymore. The first card you have, your future, is the Nine of Wands. So, yes, you're still going to have this determination. You're going to be feeling um, a little bit battle-scarred because this poor man has a little um, bandage around his head. So he's been through some things. He's a little bit shy, but he's still pushing forward. He's determined to go forward. And you know, you're not going to let these childish gossiping people stop you. Um, they're really only seeing one side of the story anyway. And they only want to see one side. They only want to see this person's side. They don't want to see your side. And who cares? Who cares whose side they see? They're crazy people anyway. I don't care. I wouldn't want them on my side anyway. So it isn't worth bothering with these people. And of course, part of you is going to want to... Um, part of... I mean, you're still battling. You're still kind of pushing forward. You've got the emperor pushing you forward. You're doing extremely well, but there are going to be times where you, when you're going to be feeling like, I might give up. I just need a rest. I can't keep pushing this. I've got these people on my back. I've got this person who I'm still kind of hurting from. I've got all these things I'm trying to push myself to. I just need a rest. That's okay. Have a rest sometimes. But I'm seeing that, you know, it is okay to have a rest, but you're still going to have this thing in the back of your head pushing you to keep forward. You have a lot more inner strength than you're actually going to realize at this time. And the other thing I'm seeing is that you might not see yourself as strong at this time. Because this person in the Nine of Wands, this little man here, he's trying to kind of push forward, but then he hides a bit and he wants to go forward and then he comes back and hides a bit. So you're going to feel like, yes, I know I'm doing all these things, but I don't quite feel as strong as I should be yet. You might not see that in yourself, but there are some other people around you who are going to see you as being very strong. They're going to see how amazingly you're coping with this. And you are. You really, really are going to be. The next card you have for your future is the Hierophant. So I'm seeing this card, someone might be, they might be trying to advise you. They might be helping you with something. This person's a little bit older than you, or they might be quite a bit older than you. They're a very conservative person. They're a little bit stuck in their ways, actually. They're kind of set in their ways, I should say, not stuck in their ways. It's This person really cares about you, and you can talk to them, but you can't really confide in them with everything. Um, they're a little bit, um, you know, they're a bit conservative. They might be shocked at things that other people might think are fine. They're kind of a bit old fashioned. They're a bit, they might be religious. They might be, there's nothing wrong with being religious, but they might be very kind of strict, that kind of thing. So yes, they're set in their ways. And yes, there are a lot of things they'd never approve of. So you don't have to share everything with them. I'm seeing that, you know, they have some advice for you at this time. They have some very, very useful advice. So don't see this person as out of touch. Don't see this person as someone whose advice you don't want to listen to. Please listen to their advice because among a lot of the things that they say that might not apply to you, there are going to be some golden bits inside there, some little golden kind of nuggets or little kind of golden, I don't know, things inside there that are going to be really useful for you. So really sift through what they're saying and find the really um, useful bits because really there are going to be some great things that are going to be helpful for you. This is a very wise person. Don't dismiss them. The last card you have in your future is justice. Yes, what can I say? I told you this person is going to come into justice. It's going to catch up with them. It's going to catch up with them. Something's going to come out. And what I'm seeing is, because I'm looking at the Seven of Swords as well as this now, and I'm seeing that something that they say is going to make this come out into the open. They're going to either slip on their words. They're going to either tell something 
um, say something that's dishonest and it's going to come out and people are going to see it and they're going to say, oh, that's not right. You said that before and now you're saying this. Or it's going to be something they've said before. It might be on social media. It's going to come out and haunt them and they're going to catch themselves out by what they're saying. And there's going to be no going back and these people protecting them are not going to be able to protect them. They're going to be in quite big trouble, actually, and this is because of their own words. So, Leo, I hope this resonated. Um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.